In this video, we'll be looking at bars and bar lines. Once you've watched this video, you will be able to identify and describe a bar, and to identify and describe the four different types of bar lines, single, double, end and repeat. A bar is a unit of a specific number of beats, which depends on the time signature. At the end of each bar, there's a bar line to make sure that the bars are separate and distinct from each other. So now we'll look at the bar lines. A single bar line is used between bars to separate them. A double bar line is used to show that a section of a piece of music has ended and the next section has begun and they look like two thin vertical lines. So for example, these might be used before a chorus or a bridge, before a key change, but they are generally used to signify an overall change in musical style. An end bar line looks very similar to the double bar line as they have two vertical lines, but in an end bar line, the second line is thicker than the first. And these are used at the end of the piece to show that it is completely finished. Finally, we'll look at repeat bar lines. A start repeat bar line has two lines, the first thicker than the second, and two dots that are placed directly above and below the middle line of the stave. As the name indicates, these types of bar lines are used at the start of a section that should be repeated. An end repeat bar line is very similar to the start repeat bar line, but this one shows that this is the end of the section that should be repeated. A start and end repeat bar line shows that this is the end of a section that should be repeated, and you should find the previous start bar line and repeat that entire section, but also this is the starting point of another repeated section. So now, make sure that you can identify and describe a bar, and that you can identify and describe the four different types of bar lines, the single, double, end and repeat bar lines.